the armies of Europe were on the move. The coming of war was greeted with enormous enthusiasm in the capitals of Europe. For each nation, a cause was at hand. In St. Petersburg, a huge crowd congregated with flags, banners, icons, and portraits of Tsar Nicholas. The Emperor, Nicholas, responded to the chants of his people by appearing on the palace balcony, overlooking the square. The entire crowd knelt at once and sang the Russian national anthem. In Paris, a French officer leaving with his regiment for Verdun Road. Our great nation's heart was beating tumultuously as in days long past. Crowds were gathered at every station, behind every barrier, and at every window along our road. Cries of Vive la France and Vive la May could be heard everywhere, while people waved handkerchiefs and hats. The women were throwing kisses and heaped flowers on our convoy, and the young men were shouting, Au revoir, à bientôt. At one grade crossing, a young woman lifted her baby towards us, shouting, He too, like you, will go someday and do his duty. It must have been like this in 1792. The soul of France had again attained the height of her greatest period in history. 